Okay, we're back with our Let's Play of Zap Dramatics Ambition, Episode 9, The Marriage Counselor, with your Let's Players VR and Sparking Conduit. Yeah. yeah. I'm kind of letting VR take over most of the commentary now. Uh, really? There's just nothing left to say, except laughing uncontrollably at the stupidity of this game. Why? It, I'm just kind of amazed that there's like 10 episodes of this. How do they have the ambition to go through with this. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to you're make just, a pun there, you, I'm you, you serious. Fucking, you fucking made a pun. No, I didn't. You son of a bitch, I will have to kill you. I really didn't mean to, I'm sorry. <laughs> God damn. But, no, really, who God would want to come back for this? Like, I don't know, it's like it's a, entertaining. Like, I won't lie, it's entertaining. Like, it really is. But this guy got actual, like, people he knows to do the voice acting besides his wife? I mean, come on. I don't think his wife is involved, but... Whatever. Whatever. Friend. Let's just get it started. Yeah. Let's just go. Let's go. Alright. I'm not even going to say it this time. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at this point, if you haven't gone crazy from the piano music, there's something wrong with you. Oh, it took them a year to make this one. Amazing. Uh, welcome. The episode, the... In this episode, the drama will play out until you... Tr oh, God. Oh, God. Please let me know by clicking the feedback form above if you like the way the action oh, works. Oh, jeez, really? So it's like, I'm going to try something new, just like episode six, except this time it'll suck even more because it's going to be real time. Oh, uh, God. Lapsed up. Man, I miss, the, I miss the times when we didn't have to read all these long-ass things that we skipped, that recapped what happened. I know. What we know. I won't be happy unless you insert an objection sound file before every mouse click we make in this episode no, in post-production. That is going to be annoying as fuck. No. Okay, do it at least once. No. Maybe. No. Okay, fuck you. Whatever. Just Okay, so... <laughs> I yeah. didn't read that. I don't care. Go on. We know what happened. Right. We punched his nose, and that's all that's important. <laughs> Gotta do it again. It does have to be seen again. Oh, don't, don't be such a pussy. <laughs> For a guy who's supposed to be like a assertive, great lawyer, he just kind of stands stooped with his hands in his pockets. Yeah. And his ties all fucked up. All right, so poor guy. Whatever. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Let's go. Use the interrupt button to get the truth. We're undercover pretending to be a marriage counselor. Wow. Uh -huh. They're really stupid if they... Well, never mind. Move on. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I left the office at about 11.30 interrupt. and that my car... Hold it! <laughs> what was that going to say? Oh, really? Um... Uh... Apologize for interrupting and asking to continue. Come on. We He's a lying, cheating son of a bitch, and I wouldn't believe a word he said. <laughs> then why don't you tell the counselor what really happened, dear? Privately. How long did Helen know? I suspected the minute I saw her. She had it coming to her. What are you talking about? She was an innocent. She was an innocent? She was. It was her naivety that she could take on a big drug company that did her in. Are you suggesting that Daddy... Mm-hmm. Which one? I don't know, the middle one, why not? All I was saying is that interest in the drug Pax Week extends far beyond our... No, it really doesn't. The military is interested. Oh, the come on, the military and the government... What does Pax Week even do? Is it just... ...not be too happy about what she was writing. As for Somaplex, I don't have any interest in it. No, but he works for my father. You may have heard of him. Wolf? Oh, God, I remember the... Wolf Clark. Let's talk to Helen and yeah. grab it. Why not? Sure, sure. Follow me. Careful not to say something you'll later regret. <laughs> what? He scares the heck out of me. He lied to the police about the car. It wasn't stolen. He followed me in his car up to the lake and forced me over. Then he jumped into my car and drove me home, locked me in the house, and then rode his bike back to get his car. Whoa. What? Yeah, top one. 
Have a pig. Cling <laughs> tiger <laughs> pig. <laughs> a pop tart. <laughs> Not every day. Wait, what happened to Rolf Cling? Just kind of interrupted. Him. Cheated on me. I would be fat. And she wouldn't have been attracted to you. You see? It's all my fault. Yes. She has to be in control of everything, including. What role food plays in their marriage? Please, come on. You've got to do it, VR. You've got to. Why I'll do it. Food plays a significant <laughs> role in her life. I think the question was addressed. Can you then answer it. I'm trying to. She makes food plays a significant role in this let's play. Are you, you going to let me speak? Of course, dear. I'm just a lot. This is really dumb. Um, Summarize what you heard. She only found out about it because she poked her nose where it didn't go. <laughs> <work. laughs> if she only spot out, nobody would have been hurt. Hello. We're married, Yale. There shouldn't be any secrets. Does anyone really Don't believe that? The word should. You get all kinds of leaky ideas. We do have to pretend to be a marriage counselor at some point. So that's probably a good idea. <laughs> Love, <laughs> money, and money. The sex, money, and trust. We have sex. Hardly ever. Three times a week. We have lots of money. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that's amazing. Clean. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Money it's okay, this is amazing to, enough to watch again. We have sex, Constantly. hardly ever, three times a week. We have lots of money. Three times a week is not enough for you? I don't know. I guess, it's I guess that's why it feels like a tiger. Daddy, what are you... Uh, uh, uh... No, no, not the bottom one. Who is this person? I don't believe we fit. I'm sorry, this is our marriage counselor. A marriage counselor? Bridget might have committed the murder. That's an interesting question to come from an alleged... Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I need to remove this person from the premises. All right, you. Let's move it. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Is that cop again? 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 Ah, oh, goddammit. I left the office at about 11.30 and discovered that my car this was... This is what we're all son of a bitch, and I wouldn't believe a word he said. Then why don't you tell the counselor what... Sure. Hello? What are you asking him for permission to speak with me for? Stop my master. Damn it. Sure. <laughs> what are you asking him for permission to speak with me for? It's not my master. I'm sure it was simple. The black man is not the white girl's Damn master. <laughs> Amazing. In private for a moment. The next choice down. Duh. Let's do it this way. Sure. Hello. What are you asking him for permission to speak with me for? It's not my master. I'm sure it was simply meant as a courtesy. Courtesy? If you want. <laughs> oh shit! She's in our face. Sure. <laughs> Careful not to say something you'll later regret. Let her say like as much as she needs he to. He scares the heck out of me. He lied to the police about the car. It wasn't stolen. He followed me in his car up to the lake and forced me over. Then he jumped into my car and drove me home, locked me in the house, and then rode his bike back to get his car. What? I think he killed her. But you know we should go back in there or he's going to leave. I can't trust him anymore. His cold heart is ruled by blind ambition. He's a psychopath. Oh no, he's taken off. Uh, we shouldn't have left him alone. Sorry, I've got to get out of here. Damn. <laughs> so yeah, we can't let her talk for too long. I left the yeah. office at about 11.30 and discovered Let's that my... Talk to Helen. Sure. sure, follow me. Careful not to say something you'll later regret. <laughs> <laughs> sure, follow me. Careful not to say something you'll later regret. He scares the heck out of me. So this is as poorly done as I thought it was. Wonderful. It wasn't stolen. He followed me in his car up to the lake and forced me over. Then he jumped into my car and drove me home, locked me in the house, and then rode his bike back to get his car. I think he killed... The background actually um, darkens so you know that you're in danger. 
I noticed that, but it's still a stupid ass effect. Mm. <laughs> Are you serious? Not every day. Food plays a significant role in her life. I think the question was addressed to me. Then answer it. I'm trying to. She makes enormous amounts of food every day, which neither of us can eat. Are you going to let me no. speak? Of course, dear. I'm just allowing you time to formulate your thoughts into a coherent structure. Listen to how he talks to me. Summarize what you've heard. Food plays a significant role in this food track. I don't want to know. Then answer it. I'm trying to. She makes enormous amounts of food every day, which neither of us can eat. Are you going to let me speak? Of course, dear. I'm just allowing you time to formulate your thoughts. Because you're stupid. Listen to how he talks to me. How could anyone put up with that? We're all still waiting for you to answer the question about what role food plays in your life. I don't know what food has to do with it. It is a stupid question. You see how judgmental? This is not getting anywhere. No, you've got to do that one. She only found out about it because she poked her nose where it didn't Why did that make you laugh so much? She'd only butt out. Nobody would have been hurt. That Hello? one line about poking We're her nose. Yale. It's so insensitive. It really is. Don't use the word should. You get all kinds of flaky ideas from... So is flaky ideas from your magazines. The, the top one. You've got to do that. Personal space. Sex, money, and money. trust. <laughs> we have sex. Constantly. Hardly ever. Three yeah. <laughs> We have lots of money. Money's not a problem. Th this is straight out of like so many marriage counseling manuals I've seen throughout the years. Uh, top one. And then let it go. Who is this person? For a while. I don't believe we met. I'm sorry, this is our marriage counselor. A marriage counselor? Goodness <laughs> gracious. I'd rather submit to a proctologist. A good marriage is built on mutual delusion. The pursuit You're of such truth a fucking cynic. I thought I was bad. Visible. With all due respect to you and your, uh, shut up, Jim. What? Would you kindly <laughs> remove this person from the premises? God damn. All right, you. Let's move it. <laughs> Maybe <Goodbye>. a... <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be a lot better if his reaction was, Jim, would you kindly Maybe remove get this guy from the president? Get some help. Eleven thirty and discovered that my car was. Moved. He's a lying, cheating son of a bitch. Yes, no. I watch him. But no. So <laughs> Come on. You, you know you want to. Really I suspected the minute I saw her, she had it coming to her. What are you talking about? She was an innocent. Oh, she was. It was her naivety that she could take on this a get big to Rolf again. company that did her in. Are you suggesting that Daddy? Of course not. Watch what you say, Buster. Your tongue is another part of your anatomy. Oh! I don't have to listen to this. You're not just gonna walk out. Why not? We're not getting anywhere. This is a vicious loop. <laughs> and at the end of the month, the bills still need to get paid. Alright. I'm going <laughs> shopping. That was useless. Okay, let's have fuck face to it. I really don't, I though, you know. Yes. 